3.26 p.m. April 3rd. Uh, I was on the phone a few times today, the Reedland Bank, uh, Buchanan County, Clerk of Court. They screwed something up there. Uh, the attor My attorney, uh, Mr. Attorney White, uh, had... It was supposed to be $60 I owed in 2022 for court costs, and he screwed it up, and it was 360 I tried calling him in Independence a few times, five times probably. He never returned my call. So I ended up having to pay $300 more in Buchanan County. I just paid that off today because they put a hold on Fayette County. I was making payments every month. Uh, they sent the payment collection to Benton County originally in 2022. I made arrangements with Benton County to pay, make payments every month. I've been making payments every month. They put a hold on my Fayette County uh, registration, license registration and um, renewal for non-payment, even though I had a payment plan with their screwed up system with Benton County, and then they sent it back to Buchanan County for collection. And in the transfer, Benton County didn't tell them that I had an agreement. So I was on the phone with them. Uh, I took four new pictures. I'll put those in the thumbnails of the most recent audios here on youtube.com forward slash at symbol I am W A D E H E I N E M A N. And the cam apps, apps were screwing up. They weren't allowing me to take real good pictures today. Like the right side of my face, they're trying to add a scar under my eye that isn't there. I've never had a scar under my right eye. Um, they, on some of the pictures, a lot of them, they're marbling my right eye to make it look like it's not a real eye or something, which happens in a lot of my pictures. I got, I managed to get four that you could see that my right eye is a real eye um, and all green eyes as well. And the skin uh, quality pictures, I was leaning, trying to lean into the LED lights so it makes my face look yellower. Um, and to, to make sure you just kind of clearly see my face but it the cam apps that I have none of them I've tried so many different cam apps and they all um, are not the best because I think because of the quality of the the, the uh, partly because of the quality of the can or the camera on the phone itself and partly because some kind of digital manipulation going on even when i take the sim card out and i'm taking photos it'll it'll be normal my cam app and then it'll say trial version after i've been taking photos and then i'll start taking pictures of my right eye like it's marbled so somehow the fraud network it, the criminal jackass suppressors of truth maggots uh torture getting me tortured for 10 years or manipulating my phone when i'm taking photos um I don't know how they're doing it because I'll take a few clear photos and then all of a sudden it'll say trial version and uh, my right eye will be marbled and uh, they'll be accentuating a scar under my right eye that's not there. I've never had a scar under my right eye um, and adding wrinkles that aren't there. So it's, it's, a, it's a laborious process to even get four photos. I probably took 80 or more and then I forgot to delete them before I turned my data on so that allows the fraud digital network of deceivers to rip my photos and those are all distorted like it distorts the right side of my face a lot of times adds wrinkles makes it look like I had makeup on in some of them my right eye looks marbled this is after it switches to quote trial version on the uh my phone and i have the sim card out and i reset the settings for it so the only way that they're manipulating my phone is that it's direct manipulation from whatever system digital system they have installed somewhere around my home or in my home uh, to digitally manipulate my pictures when i'm taking them and then a, a jackass drove by in his lifted pickup i'd recognize the noise of the the frauds trucks sometimes drove by after i took photos so if they ripped uh, my pictures i keep kept four and probably deleted about eight, 80 of them after i forgot to uh, delete my permanently delete them so uh i changed my uh pinned 
post on x.com forward slash W-A-D-E-S T-N-D. Never ridden a motorcycle since 1996. Uh, never been in the military. Uh, never been married. Never been a smoker. Never been a pot smoker. Not played a game of golf in 15 plus years. Not been on a plane or jet since 2011. Not met or met up with anybody since 2016. Not met anybody since 2016 and not met up with anybody since 2016. No friendship since 2016. No date, romance, or relationship since March of 2015. Anything else is stage lies. I'm a man, heterosexual, penis and testicles, born with them, 11471, circumcised 1971. No changes since, only interested in natural adult females. Anything staged uh, with... Uh, uh, males, trans, or children is a lie. I'm not trans. That's the, you know, it's very stressful to, to be trying to portray as trans all the time as, you know, men can, could understand. They're douchebags that are doing it with their digital surveillance. 95% of what they do with surveillance is lies. Wade Allen Heineman signing off uh, April 3rd, 2024, still half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa, and V68, the mobile home. Um, it is at p.m. at 3.32 p.m. And uh, I'll be home all day and night like I have been since March 26, 2024. Wade Allen Heineman, 52 years old, green eyes, not blue, 10.7-inch hands, and uh, six foot one. that's 73 inches tall. Not taller, not shorter. I'm a man.